Hi, Nina here and I want to show you two methods that I use to remove the lipstick bleed from around the lips. Now this image here, I've just started working on it. All I've done is a healing layer, a bit of before and after. And I'll zoom in. And you can see the lipstick um, has, is quite good. There's really nothing there. There's a slight little bit of redness on the corner. And around in there. And what I generally do and what works majority of the time is using a color adjustment layer. So that's a, just a new blank layer. Change the blending mode to color. And with a brush at 6% flow, I just make a selection of the tone that I want to use and paint over the red. This can also be used to make any color shift adjustment on your image. But I just thought I'd show you the second way. And to do this, I am going to have to paint on the lipstick color around the lip. And I am going to create a frequency separation action or layers. And just above the low frequency layer, so click on the low frequency layer, new layer, and with a brush at 6% flow, I'm just going to take a sample of the skin color and just brush over that pretend lipstick that I have put there. And it has been removed. Now this um, method you could also use to adjust any eyeshadow. Blend out the eyeshadow if it's not as blended as you would like it to be. I can also go into the high frequency layer and add a little bit of texture onto there and blend that out even more. But you can see how fast that is removing that lipstick color. So two methods the color adjustment layer or a new blank layer within the frequency separation.